So this is our Fisk Opus 156 Continuo Organ here at First Methodist. We had this instrument uh, built and delivered for us in 2021, and we didn't know uh, if during the pandemic we'd be worshiping in smaller groups. And so this offered us a bit of versatility uh, with the wheel casters underneath to roll this wherever we needed it. Um, and also it's great because our other organ, our large Sanctuary Austin organ is up in the ceiling, far from any humans actually making music on the main level. So uh, to have something that speaks very presently here on the main floor uh, is a very welcome addition. So um, this instrument was designed by John Schreiner over at Fisk, and uh, he was very influenced, uh, especially in certain, uh, certain ranks, uh, by John Brumbaugh. So uh, we've got a seven rank instrument, which is quite luxurious. Many continual organs are very small, just one, two, or three ranks. This one is seven ranks. Um, I'll just pull the knobs as I say them, but I won't play them yet. Uh, we have a gedecked, which is full compass. We have a four foot flute, which is full compass. A four foot principle, which is almost full compass and a two-foot principle, a two-foot octave that's full compass. And um, I say full compass because uh, there are a few stops that are divided just for the treble and the bass. Um, and we have a 54-note full compass, but here at middle C, we get certain pipes that just speak in the treble, uh, like the um, eight-foot principle. Starts there at middle C. Those are the facade pipes. Same thing with the quint and the treble. Starts at middle C. And then we have a quint bass, the one and a third. No middle C, but starts at B natural, except where the other one left off. And when these are together with the full chorus, uh, it almost acts as a mixture. Um, uh, you can also use it divided as a solo uh, if you wanted to use it in that way. So, uh, I'll give a little bit of each sound. Here's the Gedeck by itself. And with the four foot flute. The four foot flute alone. And the four-foot flute is actually used for, to complete the base of the four-foot principle, which begins here at G. And then goes to the flute there on the F-sharp. Speaks very presently, and some of the pipes are actually laying sideways right underneath the music rack to fit everything um, in the organ. Well, a little bit more of the four-foot principle. Flute filling in down there. Let's do eight, 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 four. A nice accompanimental sound with the two foot. And with the quints, leaving the four foot flute out. the quints. Uh, a little bit of the two foot by itself. So the two foot uh, octave and the four foot principle um, are both uh, completely open uh, throughout the whole compass. The eight foot gedeckt is stopped all the way. And then the four foot flute is stopped in the lower register and then is open for the upper register. The quints are open, and of course the principal, the, the treble um, principal, and you'll see right in the facade, um, those pipes speak together. One fun effect that you can get with a half draw is almost uh, a voce humana um, celeste. So here I'll gradually bring it on.
let the sound out, we've got several different options here. Um, of course, the pipes speak through the natural openings in the case, but we have a levered opening in the top, which allows the sound to escape freely upward into the room. Um, and then you'll see on the sides we have doors. Of course, we can see all the pipes, but the sound can escape as well. And if you look at this door, there's also shifting enclosures here that can just slide. And then if I lock the door again, we can close literally the whole box. So we have lots of options um, for that. Those are in both doors as well as the facade. Um, we're able to close those off. So uh, we, we'll be using it actually this week, we'll be doing Bach Cantata number 147, so we use it when we have orchestral performances. Sometimes we use it to accompany uh, Renaissance motets, um, and sometimes we even use it for hymn singing, so a uh, very versatile instrument. Mm -hmm. 